Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to brew a little bit of beer. Okay, this is my second brew day. I did video the first brew day, I uh, videoed that on my GoPro. Uh, it's a long video, so it's going to take some editing. Um, and it's easiest with the GoPro app, but it wants to crop a lot of stuff out. So I decided to do video this one on my tablet. Uh, that way I can just run it straight through, pause it, restart it, no big deal. So the first batch that I did was uh, American Amber Bach. Uh, that batch is done. Uh, I've already got it bottled. It's already been through the fermentation. And by next Friday, we should be able to drink it. So I ordered a kit that came with a beer called a Block Party Ale. It's another hybrid, extract and grain. It'll be only my second brew of my life. So this is, I'm no professional. I've got the uh, Anvil Foundry brew system uh, with the grain basket and also with the pump and also with the chiller. So on this batch we're going to do, it's a very simple one, We'll do the uh, grains and the hops for 60 minutes on the mash. We'll add the uh, extract, we'll boil for 60 minutes, and then we'll cool it with the chiller, and then we'll put it in the fermenter, and then we'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna pour the water in real quick. I already opened up some water. I'm just using spraying water. So we're just gonna pour two and a half gallons in here. I've already washed and sanitized. Of the anvils. Technically, you boil in this, so if you do it right, you don't have to sanitize, but you do need to wash, and sanitizing is a good habit, so it's just good to make it a habit to, to wash and sanitize everything. My shoulder still hurts, it's been, I don't know, four or five weeks, I don't even know. I'm not going to play anymore. Uh, I'm also not back to work yet. I'm just uh, wandering around the house staring at walls because uh, I can't do too much. Most of these batches I looked at said to do two and a half gallons. While you're doing your mash on these uh, hybrids, uh, the next batch of beer I'm going to do is going to be a all grain, and it'll probably be you know something like an another amber box style. Okay, so this amber's got a switch down here. I'm running it on 220. I have I happen to have a, a welder that runs off 220. I made an adapter and I've run it around here to this uh, side room. I would just tell you not to be uh, brewing beer in your house unless you have a space that's made for it. This space is not made for it, but it's a space we're going to remodel. And you do get a little bit of smell when you brew beer. We're going to be repainting this room anyway, so it's really not that big a deal right now. So I've got the 220, and you got a power button down there, and then you got uh, your temperature set up here, which we need to do. Now this kid didn't come with no instructions, so we're just gonna we're gonna run the power at maybe power uh, probably at about sixty percent, sixty five percent. I like that. There we go. Okay, so once this kicks on. We're going to go ahead and drop these uh, grains in there with the hops. I've already got those in the sack. I don't have to use the sack because i got the drain basket, but it's such a small batch that I just go ahead and use the drain, the, the grain basket because it's easier. Alright, so we got that in there. 327.
Now, this one does have a lid that you can put on top as a diffuser. I'm not going to use it either, but when I do full grains, I will. So, I currently got everything in there. I'm going to pause the video. Uh, we're going to let this get up to temp, and then we're going to uh, cut it down, put the extract in there, and then bring it to a bowl. And then we're going to ferment it after we cool it. So, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we've reached our uh, temp. I've reduced it to 160. So we reached our temp. I also turned the power up to 100% just to make it heat up faster. Now we've got to go 20 minutes <clears throat> at this temperature with the grains in. And then once that's done, we'll turn the power off, we'll pour the extract and hops in, and then we'll start it back up. Uh, I got the lid on there, I got the pump just circulating, and it's circulating and dumping on top of that grain bag. And I've got a restrictor on there to slow the flow down so it's not flowing too hard. I don't think it's really that big a deal in this type of a batch, but uh, when we get into the grains, the all grains, I know that most people will tell you not to run the pump at full speed. But on this one, I really don't think it matters. So, so far, everything's been doing good. Yep. We got the... Uh, about eight after four and then we can get an extract to it.